and today I am going another SQL questions for Amazons and it's very important so the idea is here finding user find finding user this is the headline and I write a SQL query that identify returning the active user so uh, what is the active user definition some people have like active user is the, those user who actually buy one item every month or log in one time so here the definition is a returning active user is user that had made second purchase within seven days of any other their purchases output list of user id so this is the table i have user id item created ad revenue this is the column so uh, let's say i uh, i brought some item on amazon on the last week uh, before seven days and today is the eight day so that is not considered as active user within seven days he buy the second transaction so it's considered an active user right so this is the uh, data how like uh, id it's a sequential number user id is a user id uh, the same user by the second time it will become here and the created it at is the transaction time is the revenue is the is the e-commerce they have revenue in terms of the currency i cannot say the currency so let's try uh, how to do this one so i have created for you guys a table so this is the amazon table let's see yeah let's see the uh, data table so select start from amazon transaction and we can see this uh, data and i can order by you know order by user id so better uh, we can see the same uh, users so the f i can he here if you see here i have few users which have same id you see 112 they made the transaction 139 also there may be few other but uh, i have few data so these made the transaction and here if you see they made 8 and 23 so it's just a within seven days they buy its second item and there is one more one two nine one two. yeah so here this user if you see the 18 and 28 so 10 days so we cannot consider this is active user so here answer is 139 so let's solve this problem so there may be multiple way to do the first one what i consider is uh, using the a leg function or window function so let's try so here is a column id user id then create head at and the previous so this user when he made the previous so we will make in the same row so there is a function called lag lag which will do previous uh, row it can give based on the certain condition lag means what you want to do like i want to print create it and uh, you want to print it there over over is already there so we need to do partition means uh, we need to make a window and that so window is based on user id because every user we need to make a partition and then we take the previous one so order also important for here order by always we use created at esc yes by default is ascending order and if you want to descending then it will be reverse so the uh, new column name i can say the pre pre previous created it for that user right so let's run this one so the new column if you see that he brought previous is 18 so it came in the same row right so if the same row we can make the difference okay so now we got the same row and here no need to do this one and uh, we use subquery it's very important and uh, subquery we find and here should be from and if let's run the subquery is i uh, gave the alias name is uh, uh, win window w you can give anything yes so it just to check and then a new column is what we need to difference uh, you know the this minus this so let's see date difference in oracle some it's given the difference in the day some function gave the different i mean based on the database to database but this is giving this one so let's see the difference you see that difference is 10 and the difference is uh, 5 here so it's considered uh, 19 uh, 20 1 2 3 okay so difference is 5 right so this should consider active so 
what we can do just simple we can apply like so this is start this i mean this is higher this is lower so it should be like that higher minus lower where he made transaction at least seven days right so now we can get answer and the, they they want to print user id we can also print user id it's just a matter of printing and if he made multiple then we can also use group by in case of uh, user they would like to see only one so this is how we do and there is another method which we can do which uh, you guys can try i mean using the two table joins uh, that is will be tricky so you can also try that one i think another way is uh, this table a let's try i haven't tried select uh, a dot user id okay and here i did from you see the s a so we need to give alias user id what column name is user uh, there is no user underscore id so this is user id give now i will use uh, inner join or left right join anyway inner join right and the table b so the two table we can join it make the duplicate you know so because there is a duplicate data so a dot user id equal to b dot user id so it will make the lot of duplicate records right you see the is 19 but previously it was not 19 now we need to use a dot id not equal to b dot id i mean same id we should not join so let's see how much it removed it will become a four right the four user has the same uh, now it's become a four rows it's a duplicate have duplicates and now we need to condition put one i mean it should not a dot created it should be less than v dot created right equal to or i need to think this part created it now also same right so it came to now we need to check a dot uh, v dot uh, created uh, equal to less than or equal to v dot created uh, or it's reverse also we can do a dot created plus seven so some some come uh, will apply directly they can add in the date but it's not working so we use date function to add so there is a function let's see date add date add uh, date add and here we can use and let's see if work or not uh, date add is not working what is saying date add interval date add interval interval is day i think we need to give day date add add date yeah add date there is function which directly can add the date day so 139 so this is the way which can we can do and please try yourself i will attach my uh, a link about this uh, code data thank you for watching please like and subscribe my channel